And we should now be live. Good evening, everybody. I'm just going to make sure the sound is on for you all. Yes, it is. Good. <clears throat> Good evening. How are we all doing on this Sunday? I am just finishing my dinner, so excuse me a moment. <clears throat> How's everyone's Sunday been? Hello, King Giga. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Hello, Joshua. Uh, yes. <clears throat> so I decided to go back and play some Subnautica today. Just because, um, you know, I promised to last week. Welcome aboard, Captain. But also, today is... Uh, Kind of an important historical day, which I'll talk a bit more about in a bit. First thing I do need to do before we get going with anything is um, I need food, water, and uh, some more batteries, I think. You know what? We've got we've got one. I kind of want one extra battery, just in case. Hmm, can we make a lithium? We can, we... <coughs> sorry. Make a lithium battery. And... Yeah, I want to make sure... whoops. Want to make sure we've got uh, plenty of water and food to take with us before we go and uh, do anything. In the jelly shroom caves. <clears throat> Sorry, like I say, I'm still eating dinner, so I do apologize. Gonna grab those and uh, it's not those, is it? It's the big tubes. Ah, hello, Neuron. How are you doing? Oh, the gasopods don't want me around, it seems. I just want to grab some fishies. There you go. Ah, <clears throat> yeah, I'm. I've been okay. Me and uh, Dane and a few other buddies. We just come from uh, watching episodes 2 and 3 of the new Fallout TV show. Is anyone else watching that at the moment? Was it the screaming exploders? I don't know what you mean, Dane. Oh! The crash fish. Yes, that, that one. Yeah. Crash fish. That's what I said, right? Oh, the... How do I change... Ah, oh, the crab snakes were your first jump scare, yeah. Come back here, people. You don't give a peek. 
No, he did not. I shall grab this spade fish instead. I want to be able to make more than one water. Mmm. It's on Amazon, Neron. It released this, uh, not this week. Was it this week? Yeah, it released this week. I was just curious to see if anyone else had, uh, had watched it. <clears throat> oh look, we've got some teas that we can drink. Delicious meals, nutrient blocks, fruit blocks, sweet jam, spicy fruit salad. Nutritious travel kit. Yeah, all those are going to require a lot more work to uh, to be able to make. That's for sure. I am going to drop two in there in storage because I think I don't think we need all of them, and I'm going to cook two of the peepers. Right. <clears throat> so, today's primary task is to explore the um, jelly shroom caves properly. Make sure we can get our hands on plenty of uh, material. And scan everything that's down there, basically. You might remember last time we were doing this, I accidentally blew up my first Seamoth. But this time, I know what I'm doing. I think. Now, if I remember correctly, the access to where I wanted to go was here, I think. I think something's trying to attack my submarine. Hello, Berenson. How are you doing? Just want to make sure I'm going the right way. No, I'm not. Trying to figure out the route you need to go in this game can be somewhat challenging. Oh, you were playing uh, Legacy with uh, Evo, were you, for instance? Also, how is the volume? Is Am I coming through okay? Is the game too loud? Okay, if that wreck is there... Hello, sarcastically. How are you doing? I'm coming through okay. Good, good. Uh, Subnautica can be for... Ooh, hello. <clears throat> There is debris here. New 
Blueprint acquired. Hmm. Is there no way into this? Okay, that door is just broken. No way in. Ah! I have found a point of entry. Okay, let's go fill up on oxygen. Welcome aboard, Captain. See if there's anything worth scanning in here. I wish they would let you use more than one hand, honestly. It would be nice to be able to kind of have your torch out and the light at the same time. Ah, stasis rifle. <coughs> okay. I think that's everything in here. I'm going to mark that off on the map as explored and continue. Okay. I remember this sort of underground Stonehenge as being close to Reaper territory, so... Uh, it is the only weapon against the Reapers, Berenson. Sorry, folks, I was just moving my dinner, t uh, dinner plate out of the way so I can have some space on my desk. Uh, we do also have the prawn suit, but I wouldn't really call that a weapon. Okay, um... So I think I need to sort of car cut through here. Yes, here we are. If I follow this up here, I believe there is the access point I require. Yes. Radiation. What? Really? I don't remember there being radiation there when we came out. Yeah, they updated it so you kind of required to use the phone at point. Oh, to hell with that. I'm just going to take a risk.
There's only a slight amount of radiation. <clears throat> because that is the thing we need to go down to down there. Fletcher, what is my opinion on the Dutch? Uh, I don't have an opinion on the Dutch. Evo's very delightful. She's the only Dutch person I've ever met. Well, I say met. Ever uh, known. Okay. This is where things get butt-clenchy. No, shoot. We need to give the snakes a wide berth, obviously. Scan the room. Oh god, it takes so long! Okay, we can now filter water and create more of a substantial base, which is a good thing for us. Get off me! No, get off! <laughs> I wasn't ex um, I wasn't so expecting that. That's the crap stage. <clears throat> <sighs> Shit on a stick. <sighs> I would like to point out you jump scared me more than the snake crap. Ha 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 sarcastically, thank you. Jesus, I was not expecting that. Just remember sarcastically, the biggest jump scare he ever has is me asking him what he wants for pizza. Okay, I'm gonna move the sub so I have a bit more light down here. That'll do. He's still in that bloody mushroom. That's a bit better. I got. I can actually see what I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm done for the day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as I was saying before, I got distracted. Uh, the, yeah, the new Fallout Amazon show is actually not not too bad. Um, definitely worth a watch, in my opinion. Especially if you love Fallout, which I do as a game, or, or rather I used to. Hmm. We're getting plenty of blueprints here, which is good. Oh, God, he's back. Get back in your mushroom. Bloody thing. Oh, yes, I've... My other buddy, nerd guy, has been, um... Of watching three body problem I'm not sure on it uh, it's a it seems a tad grim for me but um, I think we'll probably be watching more of it at some point uh, 
Okay, let's get... Oh God, they're always so loud, those things. Right. Integrating new PDA data. Plenty of PDA data. Oh god, I need some more oxygen. What's my opinion on the Australians? Uh, I don't think I've ever actually known one. Not personally. the noises they make. Integrating new PDA data. How much oxygen do I have? Enough. I think I've got enough. Uh, scan bed. Oh, why does it take that long to scan a bed? Data. Ultra high capacity tank. That would be helpful. New acquired. Oh, you're kidding. Okay. Uh, I think I think we're done. I think we're done here. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I knew you were coming after me, yeah, monster. I did scan the observatory, yes. Planet Zoo ticked me off with the last update. What, uh, what's it done, King Giga? Okay. Time to head back up to the surface, I think. And fast. This is much, uh, oh, this is, this is, this is explorable. Okay. Um, okay, let's head back to base. And let's uh, make a start on making a more substantial location to live in. So we need a bit more room. We got all the stuff from the Degassi base, yes. So uh, job one for this stream completed. Job two is to... Um, make a more substantial home so that we can uh, expand our capabilities because this was only ever temporary Welcome aboard, Captain. 
So, I think um, the most cost efficient method is probably going to be to produce one of the large rooms to begin with. Two plasteel ingot or six titanium. Yeah. So plus still is one titanium. So we need ten titanium and four lithium. There's one lithium. Two lithium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight titanium. Nine, ten titanium. We can make one plus steel ingot. Yeah, <clears throat> it's the most cost effective. They had an update recently on console fixing bugs, which are okay. But before console edition, they had tiger variants and an anniversary animal, which they didn't add. Plus, they removed a so-called bug where you can change time and weather on non-sandbox zoos. Ah. Well, it's one of those problems when developers fix something that's technically a bug, but also is like actually works really well. Um, the next thing we really need to research is uh, we need the laser cutter, really. because the laser is going to be a vital requirement for exploring more of these wrecks. I need a piece of cave sulfur and I know where there is some. I didn't quite get away in time. Oh well. So now when you play, you have to add lights. Yeah, I can imagine that can become slightly inconvenient. <coughs> okay, one laser cutter gathered. I've got a first aid pack around here somewhere. There it is. Ah, so the problem we have is lithium is located in the jelly shroom caves. <coughs> Primarily, it's the best, uh, whoopsie daisy, the best source for it. So, gonna need another expedition down to the, oh dear, down to the caves. But we don't need to go where the uh, Degassi wreckage is this time, so... We can just pop down here. Keeping an eye on the depth, of course. Ooh. That's probably about as down as I dare. You name all of your gorillas Harambe. Uh, is that still a meme? I, it's been a, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? Okay, red ward. Okay, 
keep an eye out for the chunks of di of lithium that spawn. Didn't want gold. Lithium. Diamond. Now there's massive chunks of, uh, of lithium, but I don't have the mining equipment for that yet. Magnetite. Okay, back up to sub for air. What are my thoughts on what happened to Harambe? Um... I think in um, in a position where you have an animal that is dangerous, uh, break out of its enclosure and could potentially harm people, you have to verge on the side of caution. Uh, that being said, I think resorting straight away to killing the animal as opposed to tranking the animal um, was a, was the wrong move. But it's easy to say these things in hindsight, you know. Hindsight is is twenty twenty after all, and people are um, you know people react instinctively to a situation, and I think it's difficult, uh, or not difficult to judge, but you, know, you can't really judge them. Too harshly. Now, I'm not going to risk my second Seamoth. So I am going, considering I found a couple of chunks of lithium, I'm going to say that take the better part of Valor and go back down there when I can dive deeper and have. Uh, a few more gizmos on my sub. Now, oh, you know one thing we can do, though? Since we're here and we have the laser cutter... Oi! What the... Be gone, <clears throat> trilobite! Goodness me. I blame the parents if the kid or the kid for letting him jump in. Yes, I mean I I would say that this is a thing in general, um, and I have seen it as a as a doing my teacher training. That when you're you're in those sorts of environments, the parents don't seem to ever be held to account. Like as a teacher, if a student does badly, it's my responsibility. As opposed to the truth, which is the parents are probably not helping the situation. 
<laughs> Local prick gets harassed by isopod shark. Indeed. Oh, well, they're attacking each other at the moment. I'm just going to grab some more oxygen. <coughs> Yeah, I mean, I like I say, I, I accept that in, in a situation with a dangerous animal, you have to, you know, react quickly and decisively. And yes, tranquilizers do take time to work. Obviously, uh, there is a element of, you know, was a satisfactory risk assessment done on the enclosure in the, in the first place, you know. Because I would argue if the kid was able to get in there, then potentially there, that was bad enclosure design. That being said, we had an instance in this country many years ago where a child fell into a gorilla enclosure and was knocked unconscious in the fall. And a female gorilla took him up and kept him safe from the male gorillas until the handler was able to get in there and take the child from her. No gorillas were killed, none, you know. And yes, that's a very, a very uh, specific situation. But it's an example of um, perhaps doing things a different way. Was it was Harambe in an American zoo? I can't remember correctly. Yes. I know it might be stereotypical of me to say, but when it comes to dealing with a problem, America always seems to resort to shoot first, ask questions later. <clears throat> there are so many situations that America has been involved in where they've, they've taken that very direct action and it's made things worse. It does seem to be a habit. Call it stereotyping if you like, but you know, when there's so many documented cases of it, it's, you know, it's just an unfortunate truth. Where the heck is my home base gone? It's over here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, it just reminds me of the mother who dropped her child into an African wild dog exhibit and wild dogs did the wild dogs thing and the woman sued the zoo for killing the child and she won. Yeah, I'm aware of a story in the 80s that my mum told me about um, about a mother who put their toddler up on, on the side railing over a crocodile exhibit and the crocodile jumped up and got the toddler and killed it and in that circumstance I blame the parents Welcome aboard, Captain. of course you know the zoos end up having ultimate authority in these situations but to me it's the parents responsibility they killed their child through their own stupidity and negligence Okie dokie. We should now be able to create another plasteel ingot. There's a lot of hor horrible tales here. <laughs> um, and I'm afraid it's, well, I, it's not really a happy thing to say, but today is an interesting historical day. Um... Does anybody, I'm curious to know if anybody knows why today is an interesting historical day.
Anyone got any ideas? Oh, is it? Is it? I, di I didn't know that, uh, Neron, but um, Happy New Year then in that case. But no, that was... Ow! Leave me alone! <laughs> that was... That was not what I was referring to. Any other guesses? I'm looking for somewhere to put down my big base building. Is it St. George's Day? Uh, if it is St. George's Day, then that was uh, not the thing I was looking for, no. Oh, that's that's taller than I wanted it to be. I am surprised no one has gotten it. Well, perhaps not. Surprise is perhaps the wrong word. Titanium times for enameled cloth. That's a lot of. That's expensive for that. Okay then. No roof. Awesome titanium. I think we need we we need an entry point. Uh, any other ideas before I give it away? Ah, the monster has got it correct. Yes, so in a little over two hours' time, Titanic will have hit the iceberg already. Today is uh, the start, at least, of its sinking. It should be sunk by 2.30 in the morning. Not today. Uh, she sinks tomorrow morning, but uh, she struck the iceberg at 20 to 11 on April 14th. Which is in, like I say, a little over under two hours time. I can deal with that. Let's get some power into this base. The assassination of Abraham Lincoln. I can assure you I would not know that date. <laughs> Iguanodon was discovered. Um... Potentially, I can't remember the exact date Iguanodon was discovered. Power restored. All primary systems online. The 
Who is winning in a real fight, a crocodile or a gorilla? Hmm. I. In that situation, my bet is on the gorilla. Easily on the gorilla, to be honest. I know computer, but I need to start transferring material across. Why? Well, because a, a gorilla is far more capable. A crocodile has its jaws, and that's about it. A gorilla is capable of manipulating objects with its hands which makes it uh, a far stronger organism overall. Right, for the moment, I'm just going to get everything out of my base and move it to our new establishment and then we can prepare our next big thing which I think is probably to head to the reef so that we can gain access to the moon pool because I believe the moon pool fragments are down there Scales, um, well, yeah, blunt force trauma, I mean, I think the gorilla would more likely probably suffocate the croc or just cause enough blunt force trauma to the croc to kill it. Honestly, I don't think the crocodile could, could drag a gorilla to, to drown because you have to remember that the main way that crocodiles kill is they drown their prey. So if it can't move the prey, and a gorilla is not the easiest thing in the world to move, then um, it's had it. Um, no. I don't think it would. I don't think a death roll would work on land. Or if it, if it did try to do the death roll, I think it would be quite awkward. Like, if you've ever seen the Dinosuchus in the aisle try and death roll on land, it looks so, so funny. Um, there we go. That's all our material grabbed from there. Do we have access to the partitions? We do. That requires plenty of titanium to do those. just want to organize my base a little bit right 
next thing to do is to go and uh, recycle all those mini bits. Anyway, since today is the, you know, an important Titanic related day, if anyone has any sort of questions about Titanic they would like to know the answers to, since Titanic is kind of one of my specialist subjects, ask them in chat and I'll do my best to answer them. Why the fuck are they making a Titanic tube? Well, firstly, they're not. So, there was a plan to build a replica. An Australian shipbuilder had the plan. He was building it in China. Uh, he's run out of money, essentially. So, it's not happening. But I believe his plan was to... basically use it as a sort of hotel sort of affair. Okay. There is the fabricator back. Um, making water is vitally important. Where can that go? Would that go over here? It would. What do I need? Copper wire and aerogel. Getting our hands on aerogel is going to be tricky. Do we have a name for the base? We can come up with a name. Well, we can beacon it and give it a name. Uh, the most frustrating part about the tragedy that is Titanic. The most frustrating part... Um... Hmm... We really, we really need to get our water. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay. Let's do a quick expedition to go and get the aerogel. Aerogel is... rubies and something else, I believe. Um, so for me, I think the most frustrating part of Titanic nowadays is the stupid conspiracy theories. All of them are bollocks. Not one of them stands up to any sort of investigative, evidential-based reasoning. And the fact that people still believe half of them just drives me up the wall. Titanic conspiracy theories are preposterous. They really are. Okay, somewhere around here should be access to... There it is. No, the movie. The movie was... Um, the movie was adequate for the time. Nowadays, it's, you know, it's not aged well due to various errors that are present in the film. But I think it still remains one of the better representations. Like, it's not perfect, but it's uh, the best representation that we have at the moment. And to be fair, I don't think we'll ever 
get to a point where we can adequately replace it because you just don't make films in the same way that the 1994 Titanic film was made. We just don't make films in that way anymore. Um, you know, they they built a one half scale or something ridiculous. Like it was it was 90 percent or something like that of the ship. They they rebuilt it in order to sink it. You wouldn't do that these days. They would just CG it or use the vortex or whatever it's called. Which is, you know, a bit of a shame for the one thing. Okay, we got plenty of material. Ah, moon pool fragment. That's what we want. We want the moon pool. Because with the moon pool, that gives us access to... Um the ability to improve our seamoth so that's very vital to get what we do need is aerogel however did aliens steal the titanic no no they did not i do hope that's just you joking around and not a genuine question <laughs> Uh, where the hell is my sub? There's my sub. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, the, the outlandishness of uh, conspiracy theories, yes. Just make a more outlandish one. Uh, no, this is the uh, Grand Reef. that we're at at the moment. It's one of the few locations where they have plenty of the rubies and gel sacks that we need for the aerogel manufacturing. course finding them oh hello warper of course finding the rubies and the aerogel sacks is a little more difficult than at first it seems there is a ruby That's another ruby. This is good for us. Now we just need to find some gel sacks. And also, you know, not die of lack of oxygen. What's Columbus? <laughs> Did the Titanic survivors reach America? Oh, we actually have a, a good question. Uh, yes, they did. So, once the survivors were picked up by the Carpathia, which was the vessel that responded to the distress, the Titanic survivors were taken on board Carpathia directly to uh, New York. In fact, by the time the Carpathia arrived at New York, the American inquiry was already being set up into the disaster. It gives you um, some indication of how important they thought it was to get to the bottom of the of the disaster and its causes. Um, you know, they were already pretty much planning the inquiry before the survivors even got back onto dry land. Let's scan one of these. King Giga, your questions are slightly trolly. Okay, I want to Okay, I 
want to make sure I have seeds of the useful plants so that we can start growing them. Because uh, we will need plenty of jail sacks. Right, but hopefully that should be everything we need right now. Uh, do we have any survivors that are still with us? We don't. No. Uh, I believe the last survivor died in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. We have uh, a few relatives of survivors. That's all now. King Giga. Let's not have trolley questions, please. If you don't have anything you'd like to know, that's okay. Just don't fill chat up with silly questions. Is it true that if they hadn't closed the floodgates that more people would have survived? Oh, so you're talking... I assume you're referring to the closing of the watertight doors or the locking of the third class passengers below decks which are kind of two different things um right we have water this is good So if they hadn't shut the watertight doors, the ship would have flooded quicker. So in that respect, it probably would have caused a greater loss of life. In regards to the locking of third class passengers below decks, it is something that has been a little overrepresented and a little misrepresented. Were gates closed to prevent third class passengers reaching the boat decks? Yes. Were they deliberately kept shut? No. Some were opened, some were not. Some passengers took things into their own hands and broke gates down. Some crew opened gates for them. Some crew stayed waiting for word from the bridge. It's not, you know, there was not one de facto rule about the third class doors. Um, One of the other things you have to realise as well is that a lot of the third class passengers were immigrants. They were um, came from all over Europe, but a lot of them were Italian, Irish, German, Scandinavian. There were lots of different nationalities on board the ship. But everything on board the ship is in was written in English. And um, there is some evidence to suggest that perhaps a lot of people died not because they were deliberately kept below decks um, but they they died because they simply got lost they didn't know where they were going it's it's you know it, it is a sad truth about the disaster that uh Some people probably just got lost inside the bowels of the ship. There is also something called... Um, oh, I've, I can't um, remember the name of it now. But, but basically, because of the um, culture of the time, that... people of a lower class 
kind of expected to be told what to do by their social betters. So in, in the event of the disaster, many of them just sat around waiting to be told what to do. And the problem is, in a situation like a catastrophe, those that survived survived because they took the initiative. Um, and that is that is actually something that's sort of stayed with me. Like, in the event of a disaster, or a catastrophe, or a serious situation, your best chance of survival is to take initiative. Obviously, you know, um, listen to, you know, emergency services and those in command and everything else, but also have initiative to protect your own life. Especially if you think something is wrong, trust your own instincts. Don't just wait around, because sometimes that can uh, be your downfall. Uh, right, let's get this moon pool produced. I actually don't want it straight on there. I kind of want to... I kind of want another tube. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. Yeah, I'll scan in a minute. To be fair, my hope in humanity has already been destroyed by Brexit and Donald Trump. Brexit and the fact that people in this country voted for it and the fact that people think Donald Trump is actually a decent politician has destroyed my hope in humanity. Oh. Ah, we have a... Ah! We, we have a... We have a problem. We need some lithium and titanium, quickly. <laughs> Talking of Titanic. <laughs> After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. We don't have any lithium. We've used it all. Bugger. Uh, I think we're going to have to go and get some. <laughs> we'll just leave our base to... We'll just leave our base to flood and... Uh, <laughs> we'll go and get some lithium. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Structural integrity. I wonder if there's any in there. to go deeper I think hmm 
with the planets of Nautical Grison have its own Titanic? Well, we'll call our Cyclops Titanic, how about that? Maybe we need to go a little deeper? Okay, okay, okay. This should be deep enough for lithium. I just need to find the damn stuff. We can at least quickly grab... Ah, a depth module for the Cyclops. Not exactly helpful right now. Ah, oh, I thought that was lithium. It looked very, very much like it. Quartz. Another gel sack. Bugger. I think the best source of lithium is that bloody jelly shroom cave. So you might have to go back down there. Or maybe the Sparse Reef? Actually, I reckon the Sparse Reef might be our better bet. If I remember correctly, the Sparse Reef is over here somewhere. Oh, geothermal vents. Yeah, I think this is the... Oh, is that the... Is that the spiked horngrass? It is! I want some seeds of that. Yes, good. Diamonds? I don't want any lousy diamonds. <sighs> Always the way. You're after lithium and you get diamond. Yeah, this is the sparse reef. I'm pretty sure there's lithium around here as well. Go have a look. Calorie oh, for heaven's sake. Look, woman. I've got more important things on my mind right now than food. Aha! Lithium. Right, okay, we're in the right sort of area. another chunk. Oh, Ruby 2, let's grab that.
Another chunk. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, now we desperately need to get back to base. I'm sorry if anyone's trypophobic. <laughs> it's kind of dark. You know the whole like controlling the submarine with a controller? That's not unusual. I know people made a big deal out of it, but it's really not. Like loads of military equipment is uses the same controller. It's just a very useful controller because it has a lot of uh, adaptability. Like, people made such a fuss over it, and it's actually kind of funny. Okay. We need to, um, very quickly put some structural reinforcement into this. And now we need to um, sort out those leaks. At least I have water. Alright, that was a minor emergency. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. 30 seconds. The fuck? Why is this place not powered? You've run out of power that fast. Oh my lord. How far away is that? Oh. I'm going to have to make a really fast run to the... to the escape pod in order to get food. <laughs> Are you kidding? Bloody submarine is damaged too. Yeah, this this has gone particularly wrong. My base has run out of power. I'm dying of starvation. Very dominus. I haven't seen the mod, so I don't know whether you should or not. If you give me a second to get my food under control. Three, 
uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Vital signs stabilizing. Ah, good. Not a good day on 456B. No. And we're still a long way from our habitat offering long term survivability as well. Like, we still need to stabilize our food production. And we should probably try and double up our water as well. Um, where the hell is the base? My flipping god. I think it's time we beaconed our base and uh, gave it a name. <laughs> Just wait till it says Leviathan class detected, yeah. And we can name our Seamoth too, I believe. Oh no, other station. Okie dokie. So we've still got a few bits that we need to go and find. Oh wow, this is killing my power. Like really badly. What do I need for... um? Extra. Thermal plant. Where's the nearest thermal vent? Too far away. Okay, there you go. Then I guess we'll just have to produce some more solar panels, quartz, titanium, copper ore. Okay. Clearly, two was uh, not enough. That's a bit better, we're gaining power now. Not at a quick rate, but at an acceptable rate. It takes so long. Name it Ocean Gate. Really? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. where are the beacons? Copper ore and titanium. Oh, 
where shall we put it? Let's let's release it about here. So, what shall we call it? What shall we call our base? Could just call it Fletcher Base. Titanic post nineteen ten. British territory. <laughs> I I can't lie that one. But I'm not sure it fits. I think there's a character limit. Oh no, there we go. British territory it is. <laughs> okay, excellent. I think... I want to create some more bleach just so that I can have some additional water supplies just to boost the water filtration ones. At least we'll have salt wherever, whenever we want it. We should probably like make a a locker for just food at some point. Right, I'm gonna drink these. I'm a bit concerned about our food. I want to be fully fooded up. And then uh, let's we can go and investigate that damaged sea glide location. Hopefully, um, we can get to the land. Next time I play, what I'm going to do is, um, before I play, I'm going to spend a little bit of time just, like, gathering materials and stuff off screen. And then the next time, we can go and explore more of the planet, hopefully. I don't think the fish think anything, to be honest. Um, what was the British ship that the Bismarck sank? That was the that was the Hood. The Lusitania was the uh, cruise ship ocean liner that got sunk by the Germans during World War One. Right. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. 
Let's go and investigate this damaged sea glide. We do, we need the vehicle upgrade console. I just don't remember where it is. Isn't it one you have to get out of a box? We also need to go and find some uh, stalker teeth. Yeah. Integrating new PDA data. Well, having a compass will, will be helpful. New blueprint acquired. Shall we listen to the log entry? Um, data bank, data downloads. You really think it'll carry two of us? Regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life point. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maps, I'll be terrified. Yeah. <laughs> so he rigged the sea glide to overload and it did explode less than three meters away. Oh dear. Oh well. You know, these stalkers seem really determined not to give up on their teeth. I haven't seen a single one. Yeah, yeah, I know. And that is why you don't put a power cell into a sea glide. Exactly. Oxygen. Relax, computer. Ooh, that's deep. Where are these stalkers? You're gonna knock your teeth out. Hopefully. Apparently not. Hmm. Oops. See if we can find any around a different Oh 
I always find stalker teeth really difficult to see. I think there's one or I think there's one down there. Ah. We found a couple. Ah, there's there are lots of stalkers around here that have dropped their teeth. That is useful. Okay, let's just like stay around here for a minute. Just like see if we can recover some more teeth. Keep a respectful distance, you know. Sea glides cannot be named, no. Can I purposely go and find a Leviathan? I suppose I could do that to end the stream. We can go and find our first Reaper if you like. Let's get back to base. It's a stolen model, but just made a new species. Yeah, I have pretty, like, strict requirements for whether I use a new species mod or not. Like, it's got to be, it's got to be decent. We are really running low on the old power again. That water filtration machine absolutely eats power. Right, let's save. And, uh... Go find a Reaper, shall we? Just my luck to be doing this when it's pitch black.
Now, large amount of wreck here. Yep, we're going in the right direction. Might be able to nab ourselves uh, a few useful items. That looks different. What is that? Okay, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to repair the Seamoth before we go. Although I've saved, haven't I? So. actually going to turn the music off for this bit. Just so we can hear the wonderfulness of Reaper Leviathan. Hey look, it's a bone shark. No, 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 no. Oi. I need to see where the uh, the ship is to figure out where I'm going the right way. Two hundred meters doesn't feel like a lot of depth, but I think I just landed on top of the bone shark. Okay, there's there's the ship. These bone sharks are the really not liking me. Now suddenly feeling rather tense. <laughs>
I actually think I've gone too far over. Is this back? Oh no, that is back there. So, where is the crash zone? It must be... Oh, there's bits of Cyclops here. You know, I would be tempted to go and grab them if I could see where the Reaper is. Oh! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I saw it in the gloom. I saw it in the gloom. <laughs> Oh, there he is. He's just, he's just in the gloom. I know, I wish I had a stasis rifle to help. But you know, I think it's circling. doing this actually got a fragment okay let's get closer Oh, that's a lot closer. Oh, you see me. <laughs> Leave me alone! Running! <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Shall we go back? <laughs> See if we can... Because there's stuff down here, and if we're here, I'm gonna grab it. Like, these boxes can sometimes have really useful stuff in. If I was the Reaper, this would be fun. I think yeah battery that's a really useful item to get in the box is that a control console is that just that's part of the Cyclops You know, it's okay for you guys. Oh shit, I thought that was the fucking Reaper there. It's alright for you you guys. I'm the one here with headphones on in a pitch black room.
first aid kit. That's always that's also useful to get. That's a piece of Cyclops engine right there. Okay, that's as close to the ship as I can get with the radiation suits. Oh shit, there's another box. Not the battery, that's useful. Okay, he almost destroyed my Seamorph like that. That... I'm very surprised at, because normally he only does like 50% damage. Holy fuck, he did a lot more damage than he normally does. <laughs> he was pissed. <sighs> huh. I think we're done tempting fate for one day. <laughs> You have successfully scarpered. Yeah. Whew. That was very, very close to destroying my sub. Ooh. But we got three batteries out of it and a first aid kit. I'm happy with that. 
<laughs> Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, damn, the cooks. Vital signs stabilizing. The food we cooked went off. I didn't even know that was a thing in this game. Well, looks like what I I know what I'm doing when I'm off. Um, I need like a better food. Like, isn't there better food? Chinese potato pygmy fans. Chinese potato and lantern fruit. Creepvine lantern fruit and spiked horn grass seeds. Right, so I need to. I need to do some gathering. I've done enough hunting, I need to do some gathering. <laughs> but I think for today, uh, I think this is a good place to pause. Next Sunday will be our usual um, Dress World Evolution 2 stream. So do tune into that. We're going to be back on the Egypt Park. Lantern fruit on its own is pretty good, yes, but to get it we have to go to the island. And um, I think what I might do is I might do a midweek stream, possibly, I don't know, maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday, maybe Tuesday. I might just do another stream in the week and play some more Subnautica because I'm quite liking doing this playthrough for you guys. Um, but yeah, next Sunday will be the usual Triclaw stream. And I shall think of a Triclaw video to do next week. Honestly, my brain is a bit dead. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in and getting me scared, King Giga. And uh, wherever you are, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Stay safe and good night.